Hey fellow survivors, welcome to another episode of 7 Days to Die, base day 1 on Experimental Alpha 20. Last episode, we ran around, did some quests, got some stuff done, looking for a wrench, didn't find one. But this episode here, we're not going to be concentrating on quest too much. We're actually going to be trying to get a wrench, period, because I need to make a workbench. It's almost day 14, we don't have a workbench, we have a fully functional horde base and everything. I want to get my electrical stuff going on, we've invested the skill points into it so I can get that for the horde base together. But no wrench yet. We have everything else we need other than one single wrench to get our workbench. Bench going. Then I could just make wrenches, right? Not too big of a deal. So, a uh, little bit of a night cycle here. I gotta clear out what seems like a few zombies kind of kicking around. Here we go. What is up, good sir? And lady. Oh, you're a feral. What is up? There we go. There we go. Nice. Give me your loot. Okay, that's actually a pretty decent loot. So, what we're going to do tonight then, to kind of kill the time, I don't have too much to do around home, is we're going to head back to the Horde base, and there's some dirt spots on the inside of the drop zone. I may as well dig those out and get them replaced with some cobblestone blocks, because I have 83 on me. We may as well use those up, right? Just normal. Good old cobblestone blocks to put in there, and then try to get some concrete too. If we can get our stuff together, we'll have a little bit of concrete for the uh, most important areas of the horde base, and uh, electricity going. Fingers crossed. Alright guys, I'll uh, see you over there. Probably have to clear a few zombies on the way too. There we are at our nice homemade horde base here. The other thing I needed to do was actually make ladders going up this side here. Damn it. Okay, if I remember before Horde Night, I'll do that, but I don't think it's going to be too much of um, a problem here. Hopefully the zombies have enough ways up by the time 64 if I don't do it. But this is good to go. All we need to do really down here, and I didn't do it because it's not as important, but replace these blocks here with cobblestone. We could use some dirt for our forge anyway, so it's a little bit of a win-win, right? Well, I got the whole pit done and dug out. Now, I could do these sides here, too, but they're about the same strength and hit points as the cobblestone itself, which is kind of why I sat this on here. Which now, I'm, I'm kind of thinking if I made that on the grass, it would have been just that much easier to dig out. But lesson learned, and the base is now completely done as far as I'm concerned. Maybe do a little bit over in this corner, but... Oh, that's some dirt right there. Let's get rid of that. Let's get rid of this ugly thing right here. That might mess up their path in a bit. And there we go. Look at that. <laughs> Look at the weird uh, shape those things take. But, hmm. I like it. I like how that looks. All right, so it is 2 o'clock in the morning. We may as well grab the bike. What I'm going to do then is kind of just travel around and start searching some of these cars that I haven't looked up yet. Or looted. Not looked up. Looted. I can't even loot that thing. We got a wolf over here. Whoops. Oh no, my bike. That was totally my bike's fault, by the way. There we go. May as well grab some meat while we're here, too, because it doesn't look like I'll be doing farming this alpha. They kind of changed how all the farming works. I usually don't really bother with farming too much, but the new changes kind of keep me... Uh, want to keep me away from it. Now... I did see a mod that actually changes it back to the old Alpha 19 version of farming. So I'm going to do a video here as soon as possible on that. I just tested it and it works. And uh, it's actually really easy to install it. So any of those w wishing to go back to the Alpha 19 ways, uh, they can do so. Well, I found a hammer. So now at least we don't have to make a hammer. We'll save some iron on that. But I need a damn wrench. Okay, we got a zombie friend over here. Let's go ahead and melee her. I think I can take care of that. Nice and easy. We'll give this car a loot, too. Gotta love going out and looting at night. Wilderness, I think, is the safest place to really kind of do something like this. Oh, I think I just saw another bear. Let's turn around. Oh, there it is right over there. Okay, I'm definitely going to avoid that area. I don't know if you guys were able to catch that if the video is bright enough. But yeah, uh, we had a run in with a bear not too long ago. But holy crap, there's a spider right there. But we were actually able to uh, avoid it quite easily because it ran into a tree and fought with the tree the entire time. We got real lucky on that one. 
Okay, it's almost morning time here, so I'm just kind of cruising around the main road, seeing what I can find. We got a working stiffs tool truck over here. I wonder if this is oh just just frames. I wonder if this is a POY that spawns in or if it's part of the actual tile itself. I'm thinking it's a POY or part of the one that's actually right behind it here. Not too many of the cars in town are lootable, although them are just sitting out here empty. It's not going to be as easy as I thought. Maybe we'll have to move on to the next town and hit up some stories. When we, maybe we'll find like a working to, uh, stiff tool. Oh, bear. Working stiff tools. How many bears are there today? This is unfair. The bear over there. All right. And it's almost morning time. It looks like we actually have a wandering horde. Or just a few zombies that might have actually migrated over to this area over here. So let's keep moving on. Have I searched this car? This is nice and close to us. Here we go. We'll continue down this road and get to the next town here and loot any stores or anything we might be able to find. Or anything I see around that might have like working stiff toolboxes in it. Oh, stupid bird. Come here. There you go. You deserve a power attack. Let's search a sedan. Nope. No luck. Oh, as soon as it looted... That bird hit me and I had to close the menu. That sucks. Okay, so let's check out these cars over here. Oh, here we go. Here we go. We got an untouched right here. And nothing. Damn, guys, we're having no luck at all. Well, there's two cars I can loot here, I think. Possibly even three cars if that one is good ahead. There's one on this POY here. We'll just uh, kind of sneak back. Hope there's no dog chilling around that is going to gank me. Nothing yet. Let's check out this one over here. There's got One of these cars have got to have a wrench for us. Nothing. Bunch of stone axes, though. Oh, look at this, guys. We got a battery bank schematic. We got the dart trap and some robotic parts here from this Mo Power service truck. Those service trucks actually look like really, really good loot bins. So here we are at the business district here. We should be able to find a few more cars. Oh, there's actually quite a few cars at that Armstrong Auto place over there. Maybe that'll be a good place to find a rent, right? An auto shop? I think that would be a decent place. Because let's go in here. There should be some sinks for us to search, at least a couple. Nice and easy. I like these places because they're really easy to navigate around. How did that guy not wake up? There we go. That was a very dumb sleeper. He must have been in a pretty damn deep sleep, that guy. Okay, coffee maker. We could actually use the coffee right now. No such luck. And you know what? I'm going to drink that. We're thirsty. Okay. What is up in here? Where's the sinks at? It's got to be in the kitchen in the bag here. This guy getting shot in on me. Not cool with that. Ugh. And some locals, of course. There we go. Give him the old one, too. Hey, buddy. Oh, this must be the cook. This is definitely the cook right here. He's not very happy at all. There we go. And we have sinks in the back. One sink right here. Damn it. Another sink. I think these things still give wrenches. Has anyone found a wrench in a sink yet, this alpha? Let me know down in the comments below. That would be much appreciated. Okay. Nothing I really want in there. And it doesn't look like we're going to find a wrench in this half of the place. But we do have the mechanics place next door. Uh, we can go and try that one out. So I assume there's a logical way to get into this place, but logic aside, I'm going to go ahead and just smash my way right through this wall so we have an easy way in and out. Okay, and we're in here, and for some reason these sleepers don't seem to want to wake up at all. There we go, we got one of them. We got a couple, whoa, <laughs> what are you guys doing in there? None of my business. None of my business. I don't want to know. Ooh, sounds like we actually got a few of these guys here kicking around uh, easily. Damn, this pipe baton is actually 
pretty damn awesome. Oh, looks like we're getting cornered here. There we go. That helped out a little bit. Take out their good old friendly neighborhood mechanic and his, apparently his wife over here. Ho! Oh, this guy coming and busting in. It's like the freaking Kool-Aid man over here. What's up, buddy? Take some of that. You know what? I haven't used this shotgun in forever. May as well pump a few into your head with it. That reload, though, takes forever. There we go. Okay. Sounds like there's a couple more kicking around, but that's okay. Whoa, ho, ho. Nice. Look at the loot in the back here. We got a passing gas. We got Shamway Foods. We got a leather trunk going on. Uh, I just want to make sure that we got all of the zombies cleared out before we try looting this place. Go and service truck over here. Now, how do we get into the yard? Oh, there we go. <laughs> I love switches. They're awesome. Whoa. Uh oh. Got him. Couple dogs kicking around. I guess that makes sense, right? I like that little detail. Okay. Looks like we are good to loot, guys. Let's check out these cars. Whole lot of nothing we got from these cars. Really a whole lot of nothing. That kind of sucks. Oh, oh, I almost saw for some reason. Ooh, a drum magazine mod. That's nice. I thought for some reason I saw a wrench in there. I was about to get very, very excited. Okay. Well, I guess I may as well start popping open some of this stuff here and see if we can find ourselves a wrench. Nope. Got an iron fire axe, so come on. Come on, RNG. Give me your damn wrench. Oh, there's another car up here. I almost didn't see that or notice it. And it's just got a couple empty cans in it. Ugh. So I'm going to go ahead and throw that drum magazine mod into our AK and make that thing way, way more powerful. There we go. Got my AK and everything. Can't find a damn wrench, though. Jeez. Uh, even one as a trader reward would be very, very nice. Okay, well, this game didn't give us anything that we needed. Or this game, this round, I guess. Uh, we have a, pa a car parts box, which still nothing. Still useful stuff, though. I'll take those. All right, well, I guess uh, it's that for that place. Let's move on and maybe keep searching some cars here. I'm going to stash some stuff into my trunk. We have a place here called Bart's Salvage. I'll assume that maybe there might be some tool chests and some stuff up in that way. So we'll come back and hit that up if we don't find a wrench in the back of these cars. There's a whole bunch over here. And it looks like there is a van in the back of that place that would want to give a search. Oh, there's one over here too at the hotel. I love this hotel. I'm pretty sure this is the old one that used to have a pool that is actually completely redone now. Uh, if it is, that's awesome. And we got motor tool parts and some concrete mix. Okay, I'll take concrete mix, but I still need a damn wrench and then I can make my own mixer. <laughs> this has been such a pain in the butt. Okay, well, moving on. Okay, no wrench yet, but we've actually come across a POI. It's a tier one fetch. I think it's for the trader that's right over there. We grabbed it earlier and never finished it. Let's take a look at the car here. See what it has to give us. Damn it. Guys, I like seriously, it's starting to get frustrating. All I need is one wrench. Just give me your damn wrench. Let's start this quest here and uh, move our way through. See if we can find a wrench maybe in this house here. Here we go. Starting to lose confidence in my abilities to find things. There we go. Beautiful. I love those new hazmat zombies, by the way. Uh, they're pretty damn cool looking. So we're going to move through this quick. I'm only going to really grab high value loot at this point in time. Uh, along with some mix, if I can find it. Like right here. There we go. Valuable stuff, that is. Whoa, almost fell right into the basement. Holy crap. Hazmat zombie behind me here. And a stumbling lab nurse over here. I wonder what was in this house before the apocalypse happened. Hmm. Oh, I found it, guys. Level two wrench. We've done it. We've done it. We've done it. This is sick. Okay. 
Oh my god, I was gonna be like, is this episode just gonna be an episode of me wandering around trying to find a damn wrench? I was like, that would really, really suck. Nope, we finally found a wrench. You guys can now uh, use the like button instead of the dislike button. I very much do appreciate it. There we go. Okay, uh, let's try not to fall into this place. It looks like the whole thing is a giant trap. Also, maybe set myself on fire too. We'll grab the, uh, the White River supplies and then get the heck out of here. Where are those suckers? 3.5 meters away? Looks like there might be right up in here. Maybe? No? Upstairs, it seems? Okay, there's an upstairs to this place. Okay, I'm just getting out of here. I hear there's a zombie hitting around in front. I think it's actually on the roof of this place, because, uh, yeah, there really is no second floor unless it's an attic, but we'll just, we'll, we'll bang, we'll bang through it easily. There we go, get rid of that guy, it's causing so much noise. Now watch, I'm gonna find wrenches all over the place. Okay, no wrench, but hey, that would've been funny. Okay, so I took my nerd poles away. I'm gonna go ahead and just make a few frames then. So there is an attic to this place. Probably was a lot easier to find from the inside, but Hey, why go, uh, why go in when you can go through, right? Oh, look at this. We got a weapons bag up here, too. Uh, we got some supplies kicking around. I'll grab those. And we do have a, a death safe, and I happen to have some lockpicks on me here. Oh, my God. Now I can't move out of here because the safe is in my way. Oh, boy. So let's try to lockpick this here and see what happens. I have no lockpicking skills at all. Sometimes, oh, I was going to say sometimes you get lucky, sometimes you don't. I think we have four on us. Maybe that'll be enough to get into this one safe. And, oh, just, just right about. Oh, and it broke another one instantly? Oof. Oh, I don't think we have any more. <laughs> Damn it, stupid safe. Oh, look at this. What do we have? Uh, level 6 pipe shotgun. Hey, you know what? I oh, will modify that out. There we go. Take that. We'll scrap the old one and switch this one out. It's not like I use this too often, but it's nice seeing some level 6 stuff up in my bar there. Okay, now where is this dam? 7.1 meters away. Where are you? Oh, there's another room. There's two parts to this attic. Attic? <laughs> there's two parts to this attic. There we go. And where are you? Oh, holy crap. Here it is. These, I do have to admit, were probably the hardest ones to find. Okay, let's get the heck out of here now and get back home. We have to get working on our uh, workbench and everything. This is This is awesome. Uh, home sweet home and home sweet progress finally being made here. So let's jump up and get myself sorted out. Actually, I think it's better to build the workbench first and then get myself sorted as it takes about three minutes. Oh, we need mechanical parts. I don't think we have enough of those. That's okay, though. There's just so much stuff around to scrap down. We should be able to get those soon. Yeah, we only have two mechanical parts. All right, let's get a little bit of this sorted and I'll go grab those parts. Just kind of wrench uh, air conditioners and whatever else we might have around. Haven't, uh, wrenched anything down at all. Like, look at all this stuff over here. These air conditioners, they used to give, yeah, they're still giving decent amount of parts this time around. Let's take a look. We got two electrical, two mechanical so far. Uh, so we got two mechanical, a whole bunch of electrical parts. That's good, though. We need all of that. Okay. Cars. Yes, let's go tear down some of those. Right over there, I see some. I don't even care that I have to eat right now. I know my health. <laughs> Actually, uh, I should probably eat here right away. Okay, I'm going to scrap down the car, grab some food, and we'll get on our way. I'm getting too excited. Okay, I got some food going on here, and uh, we're going to slowly bring that back up. Probably be better in my tool belt. Oh my god, is that a Steve? Holy crap, it's a partial, Steve. It's the ones I love to pieces. There we go. Nice. We're actually... <laughs> I love that I found a Steve in the environment. One wild Steve. 
There we go. So just took a bus down, took that zombie out, and we have enough mechanical parts now to build our workbench. We got a wrench, claw hammer, we got the wood, now we just need to grab that forged iron and we can get this thing on the way. Damn, am I ever excited. There we go, forged iron's in the inventory, and in 3 minutes and 33 seconds, we'll finally have our first workbench. <laughs> that feels like such an accomplishment. So we should be able to make our cement mixer here and we make that in the workbench. For that we're going to need forged iron, which we have, some springs. How many springs do we have? Yeah, six. Wow. Engine and mechanical parts. So we can get this going right away as soon as this workbench is done and at least have that. Then we can concentrate on our electrical stuff. I got a whole bunch of parts, so hopefully that'll be enough. Oh, what the heck is going on here, guys? Whoa. Excuse me. No, sirs. We have two zombie bears back in the back of our base. Holy crap. What is this madness? Okay, one's down. Did we get the other one? We did. And there's dogs? Whoa. Talk about a serious wandering horde, day 13. Holy crap, are you dead? Just die already. Holy crap, okay, I think I think it's dead. I think we're good. Oh, no, there's another one. Okay. What the heck? Whoa, that's deadly. I would not have been expecting that if I was out and about just kind of wandering around. That probably would have taken me out. Whew, did we ever get lucky today? So one thing we could use here while I'm waiting, I'm going to get the workbench placed down and then get the cement mixer going. I'm going to head out and get myself some sand because we don't have a lot of sand. We have a lot of stone and everything else, mix, but not enough sand. So, I'm going to grab up some of that. There we go. Workbench down and one cement mixer on the way. So, I'm going to hit up some more of this uh, gravel. Looks like there's a... Oh, yeah. That nice big lot over there. Now that I know the Wandering Horde has come and gone, I uh, feel a little safer. That would have been such a nasty surprise. There we go, so that should be good enough. We got some stone out of the deal too. We got some sand, so win-win on both fronts. We should be pretty close to finishing off that cement mixer, and I gotta start looking at making electronics as well. We need a generator, and we need a, uh, I think two posts. I think two posts will do it. Yes, one generator and two electric posts. So, let's get this stuff all queued up here. So, for our generator bank, we're going to need some forged iron. Uh, we're going to need, uh, actually, a bunch more mechanical parts. So, I'm going to go and break down... Oh, no! We used it! <laughs> we used it to make our um, to make our bench. Maybe I should have grabbed a few more before I did that. Can I even make another wrench? Oh, it's locked! Yes, it's locked behind salvage operations. Okay, well, let's take my money here over to the trader and see if uh, he's got another wrench for sale by chance. Whoops. Okay, Trader Joel. Got any luck for us here? Let's go ahead and check his inventory. Uh, wow, he has a lot of concrete mix. Uh, let's look up wrench here. Oh, no, he doesn't have a wrench in his basic inventory. What about his bonus here? Wrench? Oh, button hooked. Damn it. Okay, we'll find another one, guys. We'll find another one. Not too big of a deal. Or the schematic. Let's look up. Oh, wait. I guess wrench schematic would have came up under wrench. Hmm. Okay, so how much will it cost me to buy, like, 750 of it? 5625 I can actually afford a little bit of that to get our base here upgraded by Horde Knight. Hmm. We'll, we'll hold off on that and come back to it, I think, if if I need to. Okay, so he had nothing for us, guys, unfortunately. Ooh, you know, the one thing I do need, we are getting low on, is 
food. So I'm gonna buy up the food in the vending machine here. It is always cheaper in the vending machine. And there wasn't very much, so I'll have to go back up to Trader Joel and see what he has to offer. We are gonna get very hungry very soon. I haven't been hunting very much at all. All he has for food is, is one thing of yucca juice. <laughs> Oh, wow, Trader Joel, you suck, buddy. So I guess we have a whole bunch of homes around us, and since I did find one in a sink, I'm going to smash, do some quick smashing grabs and see if we can get lucky enough find another. I mean, it's 1900. If we can get this done by day 14 here, we'll be able to have all that stuff hooked up uh, for the horde. Oh, the cement mixer. Damn, guys, I'm not rationing my time really well here. I gotta go and get some cement mix going on. Here we go. One cement mixer coming right up. I'm gonna put that, I think, yeah, right over in this corner right here. There we go. That's a nice spot for the cement mixer. So we're gonna want to make some concrete mix. For that, we're gonna need sand, stone, and cement. We are we got a good amount of all of that so bam there we go the only thing i'm low on is actually sand but that will give us uh that should be more than enough to upgrade the vital components of our horde base here for horde night cement on day 14 not too bad i think all right well let's wake up the house here it's like there is a bit oh that is not a good house looks like it's all burnt out on the one side probably doesn't even have a kitchen not a proper house. Okay, so this one right over here. That one looks burnt out too. Let's look at the back here and see what it looks like. I like these little burnt out homes. They're pretty cool though. Now smash into it. Just like that. And oh, it has one of these new uh, cellar doors. I like those things. Those things are really cool. Here we are. Okay, and looks like I'll just crack open a block here. A little bit easier than switching uh, from one weapon to the other. Okay, well, we do have a bit of a kitchen here, so I should be able to search the sink. Oh, there's two sinks too. Okay, nothing in there. Nothing in that one. Let's move on. Got another burnt out house right behind it. Let's take a look here. Uh, this is the bathroom. Might be a sink in here. Ah, uh, no, I didn't get so lucky. It looks like they're using all those pedestal sinks now for the bathrooms, and, uh, only the kitchens have the actual sinks. Oh! Do you see that guy there? Kind of casually walking around. No big deal. Ah, here we go. One sink coming right up, and nothing. Let's go give this house here a quick searchy search. Maybe break in through the back. Hope there's no dog or anything to surprise me. We're good. We're good. Doors unlocked. Oh, this is a garage. Oh yeah, this is a garage POI. Oh, look at all the mix over here. Oh wow. Okay, we'll have to grab some of that too. Oh damn. Okay, you guys can screw off. I don't want to mess with you right now. I just want to get myself another wrench if I can. Because I used my... I <laughs> can't believe I did that, guys. Use my wrench before I gathered enough. Ugh. Hey, did we search this place? Looks like we may have, but... Whatever. I'll make my own path. It's all good. Do some renovations. I don't think the owner is going to mind at all. Oh, what is up, buddy? Okay, let's go right in the kitchen here. Like I said, I'm not even going to mess around with these guys too much if I don't have to. Uh, one sink and nothing in that sink. Damn it. Okay. Let's go. Let's get out of here. Oh, wow. Another wandering horde right behind us here. I'm going to, uh, think of the closest. There we go. And keep moving on. It's 20 hundred. I don't have a bike either. I'm just kind of wandering out, checking these places out. Vehicle, of course. Fingers crossed we can find one. Nope. Not a... Okay, what is up? This house looks uh, not so suspicious. Nice little smash and grab in here, I think. Oh, this guy up here is messing around on top of the fridge. What's up, sink? Nothing. 
And we got this house right across the street. Still got a few zombies on us. So I'm going to assume with this house here that the kitchen is going to be in the back area, maybe? Or it's all the bedrooms. Okay, there's a kitchen right there. We can actually make a beeline for it. I got lucky on the guests on this house. I'm uh, kind of forgetting all the POIs now from Alpha to Alpha. Every time we have an Alpha change, there's lots of changes within the POIs themselves. Either adding them, changing them up, or just uh, getting rid of old ones. Okay, well, looks like this place is next on my list right here. Front door nice and unlocked. Nobody in the bathroom. Oh, there's an actual sink in that bathroom. Okay, maybe some of the newer POIs then would have the other sinks, or they just mix them up. Okay, the sink there, sink here, nothing. Damn it. So, 2100 here, we have another, oh, there's a house right there we can search and maybe be able to hit up that house too, because we still have a few zombies just kind of wandering around that I didn't take care of. Don't want to run into those at night. Okay, we got a sink in the bathroom here and a zombie to our right. Here we are in the bedroom. Oh, bookcase. Here we go. Wrench schematic. <laughs> that would be sick. Imagine finding that. That would be the answer to all of my problems. Damn it. Still nothing. Still nothing at all. I'm going to search the fridge. Ooh, some free food. And a food pile. Nice. Look at that. We got ourselves uh, some sham chowder. That's delicious. Oh, and looking for coffee. Nice. Okay, let's do one more house here, and fingers crossed, find our wrench over here. Okay, trying to move through this window, and it looks like the couch is actually blocking my way. Okay, so we have a fish tank going on in here, and the kitchen is right over here. Give that sick a search. There we go, I heard ya. I heard you, lady. Thank you for your service, but it is no longer needed. There we go. Grab myself a chili while we're here. This is chili. Maybe these guys left some coffee behind for us, too. Why can't I hit you in the head, sir? The chef always coming out of the kitchen. Okay. Not nothing that out. There's only one sink going on in here. Okay. What about the bathroom? Is there a bathroom up in this place? And got a sink up in here. Oh, damn it. Okay, guys, well, I guess no luck. Uh, I was really hoping we'd have electricity by this time, but uh, it doesn't look like we'll be rocking it by Horde Night. I mean, we can go around at nighttime and keep trying to search cars, I guess. That would probably be a positive thing to do. But unfortunately, I have run out of time for this episode completely, guys, and I have to call it here. We will be back tomorrow on the search for electronics and stuff. We got some cement on the way, which is a really good thing. We'll upgrade our hard base here, probably first thing, and then maybe go and uh, look for another wrench, see if we can get lucky. Oh, wait, there's this place right here, guys. We, we, ha we have a second. We have a second before I say goodbye. Let's go, let's go see what it has. Okay, we have a bookcase right here. Searching that dangerously. Got the pistol, re pistol recipe up in there. Oh, he's behind. I thought it was that guy swinging again. Stupid tryhard. Okay, sink. Nothing. Dang. All right, guys. Well, that's it. I'll see you in the next episode. Stay classy. And always back up them game saves.